Hi guys, C Chronicles back with another uh, video. I am at Dubai Perfume Cafe at Oriental Plaza in Johannesburg, South Africa and Fortsburg. Um, I am going to leave the details in the description box and it's thanks to Mr. Yusuf for allowing us the opportunity to come and play in the perfume warehouse. Guys, if you're new here, I do a lot of fragrance reviews, fashion videos and lifestyle content. So if that sounds like something that interests you, please do consider subscribing before you leave. And to those who are returning thank you so much for coming back you are appreciated uh, why i decided to do a fun video like this is i thought okay let's go to the warehouse and record so don't expect anything fancy this is a storage space for perfumes middle eastern perfumes i'm gonna randomly pick perfumes but i i was just working it out um that i think i'm gonna do it by house okay so we're gonna start with a mouth don't worry about these latafas that are here we're gonna start with a mouth but i'm not gonna give you a lot of detail uh just in case um you know you you are here for the first time i have done uh, comparison videos i have done also dupe uh, compilation videos so if you want to check out my amorf dupe compilation video you can go ahead onto my playlist and check it out there is all sorts of amorphs there uh, but i'm going to pick random amorph uh, perfumes here so the first one is this one intense men um i've spoken about this one i didn't actually Give it, give it like a full video but i have spoken about club de nuit intense men and this is a, 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 a you know a very close uh, creed aventis dupe and please bear with me guys if the lighting is a bit off that is because the lighting in here is not so much because you know they store perfumes here so if you're looking for an alternative for creed aventis this is uh one from a mouth club de nuit um intense men let's open this one rare tiffany uh, this one is for women i am just going to give it a quick uh sniff and tell you my thoughts uh about what i think of this fragrance this is rare tiffany i actually do not own this so this is going to be a first impressions you see that's how it sits in there it is a blue bottle so Maybe it's going to be on the aquatic side. I don't know. Okay, just. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Immediately I get a, um, I get a jasmine. I get something that feels like a ginger. I get some woods here. It is a spicy fragrance. It's actually room feeling. I cannot tell you um, the lasting power, but it's got some woods. I can detect some woods there, some aromaticness there. Uh, does not smell Middle Eastern, kind of smells niche to my nose. Um, could have aldehydes as well. And I get a little bit of some jasmine and I think some ylang ylang. This is just me going off my nose. Okay, fragrance family. This one is a tricky one. I might have to buy this and take it home and see what I can liken it to. So that's one out of the way. Another random pick. I have done a full review of Club de Nuit uh, for women. And this is a Coco Mademoiselle dupe in case you do not know. This is a Chanel Coco Mademoiselle dupe. And they have it in, I think this is the giant size. This could be a 200 ml and this is a 100 and something ml. So I'm just going to put them to the side. This is Club de Nuit intense woman okay so intense woman let's see i did not feature this on the channel but it is on my dupe compilation list it is on my dupe compilation list let's see what it smells like it's just gonna be any like a first impressions but i think this one smells like tom ford's noir the noir if i'm not mistaken mm. Smells a little bit like Tom Ford's Noir de Noir, okay? Leans feminine, but I cannot dismiss the fact that this could uh, very well be a unisex scent. I get a light oud, I get some florals here, a light um, ember as well. Uh, it, it also has like wafts of some freshness. So that's it with that. And if you missed what I said before, do check out my uh, Amalf uh, dupe compilation video. If you want to purchase any of these fragrances, obviously I'm going to leave them in the description box below. The new Amalfs are coming in on Monday. Um, I don't know when I'm going to post this. Okay, let me just say the new Amalfs are going to be there. You're going to have to keep checking the website. So this one is Milestone. Let's just have a quick sniff of it. Amalf Milestone. Just going to have a... This is Perfume Heaven, guys. If you take any one and put them here, you will know exactly. I mean, they will tell you. It comes with a little pamphlet here, which is really nice. 
uh, I think it gives the summary of the, no, it doesn't give the summary of the, oh yeah, it does. Okay, so I'm holding Milestone. Amaf Milestone, that is the packaging, just like the traditional Amas. And let me just take it out quickly. So it has this beautiful gold bottle. Let me see if they have uh, put anything there. No, I'm gonna have to go with my nose. So I'm gonna spray it a little and tell you my thoughts. Mm, I get sea notes, aquatic notes, salty. It's very salty. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Maybe some fruits there, could be berries, maybe violets, but it does have florals there. I get something that feels like a very, very but a very light one. So this does not lean masculine. I'm getting wafts of what, uh, you know, feels like a feminine fragrance to my nose. Uh, and the last time I checked, I think this was supposed to be a dupe of Creed's Millicim Imperial, if I'm not mistaken. So this could be a good alternative. In terms of comparison, I cannot tell you, uh, you know, what it is compared to. There's more, you know, like Tag Her and this. I'm just gonna make sure that these two are going to be the last ones. There is Tag Her. If you are interested in this one, I think it smells a lot like Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. But, you know, for curiosity's sake, I'm going to open this one. And then we're going to be done with the house of Amarv. And we're going to move on to the next house. And um, so what I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to do a part one, two, and see how it goes. You know, because I don't think we're going to be able to exhaust everything here. I don't think so. So it's going to be a part... Oh, wow. This is one of the new ones. You know, it's like a pearl, pearlescent color really beautiful so this is club the noe imperial i'm going to spray the box rose florals okay okay it's nice i like it it's a straightforward kind of dupe of delina okay this is parfums de mali delina but it comes across as a like a lighter interpretation of it so if you are not too big on the cloying the cloyiness of delina i think you might actually like this one I get some tropicalness here, a little bit of some powderiness, emberiness as well, maybe nutmeg, vanilla, florals, Turkish rolls, that kind of thing. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely your Delina dupe, but it's it's giving me subtle vibes. So that is going to be the last one for my mouth, guys. I don't know how many I have done, but for the purposes of moving on, I'm going to close this video here and then record part two in the next video. So stay tuned, guys. See, Chronicles is my name. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. I hope you found this helpful. We are still in the warehouse, so don't panic. We've got Rasasi here. We have uh, Latafa is obvious. We've got Rasasi. We've got um, Paris Corner. They have a lot of new fragrances. Paris Corner. Uh, we have, I think, um, Orientica. Orientica is going to come in another uh, series. Um, which other one do we have? Which other one? Swiss Arabian. The lot. I'm going to run the camera through so that you see what is in the warehouse. So there is a lot coming. So this is it for part one. Thank you so much for joining me today. I did feature a Moths here. Do check out the Moth Duke compilation list. See Chronicles is my name. Stay blessed. Stay safe. And remember, smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.